Hey guys, Dylan, Walnut Ridge Family RV Sales. Man, I got a cool one for you. I got the new Alliance Delta Series, their travel trailer. Um, this thing is super duper cool. It's got a lot of features I wanna go over with you. This one standing behind me is the 281BH, so it's their bunkhouse model. Um, love this layout, probably the one, one of the most popular layouts, but the, the features on the inside are what really get this one. Just shy of 32 foot total length on it, and then 7,200 pounds dry weight. So a lot of your half ton towable, you know, bigger pickup trucks, F-150s, Silverados, Toyota Tundras, be able to tow it. Um, some of your newer SUVs can, um, but then you, as well as your 2,500 gas diesel, all that stuff. But let's dive into it, check out these cool features. And then if you have any questions, email me, comment below, let me know what you guys think. All right, let's walk around the exterior. You can tell the big power awning. This is a double entryway. Beautiful fiberglass front cap up there. You'll have the two 20 pound LP tanks up front, as well as a spot for your battery. And then you'll have a power tongue jack just underneath here, up, down, all that. Turn your light on, that way you can see. Let's get into the good nitty gritty stuff. So check out this pass through storage here. Look how big that thing is. One thing I like about this, right here where your wet bay is, instead of it being like this and shortening up your storage all the way throughout, they put it to the side. So, little access port that's gonna be right there, comes up, you can easily access all of your, uh, your water fill, um, you have a spray, hot and cold, and then battery disconnect as well. Check this out, they have a little spot up here for your for your drill so that way you can use your power stabilizers or manual stabilizers i do like the manual stabilizers because on power once they hit a, a certain pressure they stop and you can't go up anymore with manual you could lift your tires up off the ground if you needed to because you can just keep cranking on it uh back through here love how they have the little access port right here you have a little bit of your solar charge there um, a little bit of water piping there in your filtration system. And then you can tell right there, that is correct. That's an outside table in their storage there. So it's not taking up your big storage through here, but I do like that. That is super duper cool. Let's pan out here. You have your awning cover prep already there. A little bit of storage on the back side here. A little storage light. Your gray tank, black tank, water. You have Goodyear Endurance tires. Good looking set of wheels. I like that they're aluminum. You have Asdale composite sidewall on the outside. It's less likely to delaminate. Um, you know, it's all the way across the board on Alliance. And then on your roof, it is a PVC roof membrane. Back here, accessory hitch. It's a 300 pound rating there. And then as always, there's a little backup camera prepped right there. Check out this ladder. It's wider than your normal ladder. They call it the climb and dry. So you can put, you know, towels over through there and hang them to let them dry. Out here on the outside, you have an outside griddle. But I love this one because it's a two way. You have the burner on one side and you have your griddle on the other. There's gas struts as it comes in and out. And then a little outside refrigerator. 281 BH, double entryway. Let's take a look on the inside. Now, standing inside, we'll take a quick pan around. You'll notice quite a bit. Fit and finish is real nice on this. And you have your TV, tons of storage all the way around, and then your bunks are gonna be right here on your main entryway. One thing to look at, this door is a little bit wider than your normal doors, so you do get the solid steps that are a lot wider, a lot bigger. You have more of a footprint there rather than the smaller ones. Storage up underneath. And then the little built-in ladders, you do have USB ports and looks like uh, another little puck light system on the inside. Take a look at this bathroom here. Storage around, soft shut uh, seat right here, porcelain toilet, and then as well as a window, you have your vanity here, sink, everything through the bathroom. Beautiful looking interior right here. Uh, taller slide boxes. I mean, they're, they're about six foot tall for a travel trailer. That's pretty awesome. The atrium windows, you're gonna notice no carpet in your slides. And then as well as down below, there are no vents in the floor. So if you have pets, man, this thing's gonna be easy to keep clean. You have recliners, 
They are heat and massage, plus you have little lights up underneath. USB port right next to it. A U-shaped dinette with storage up underneath on both sides. That goes down into a bed so you can make it and you have a little extra room for sleeping if you need to. Up through here, you, know, you have your 12 volt refrigerator, your TV, sliding drawers here that come out. So that's super duper cool, more storage. And then up underneath your power system as well as a little bit of storage through there. But then your, uh, you know, your converter box for all of your fuses and everything is right there. There's storage behind the TV here. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out, but you can put DVDs or anything like that. And then up front here, a little bit more storage. Check this out, soft shut cabinet doors. And then you have a little window through there. As we come through here, again, soft shut cabinet doors. You have a little extra piece here for countertop space if you need to. And then built-in trash can, boom. Just the small features that Alliance likes to do through here. And then your pot and pan drawer through here. A smaller oven, because you have your pots and pans down below, but you still have your three burner stove top as well as your microwave. Let's take a peek in here. Second AC system, it is TV prepped up here. And then you have storage all the way around. And little lights here, up underneath, you have a light switch on this side. Um, reinforced drawers throughout. And then up underneath here, you have storage. You can shove this back and forth. You can use it for, you know, uh, undies, socks, anything like that. I do like that over here is epoxy. And then these also lift up, so you have a little bit of hidden storage in there. So if you need to put your, you know, your firearms or your uh, keys or anything like that, money, wallet, be a good place to hide it. See how that one's a little bit smaller door? That's exactly what I was talking about. A little bit shorter. That's the normal size. You have a little pocket door here. Guys, this thing is super duper cool. Let me know what you think. Um, you do have your heated and enclosed underbelly as well as 12 volt heated tank pads. This does have solar up top, so it'll trickle charge your battery. Keep your lights going, keep your slide boxes going in and out as well as your refrigerator. I love this thing. I know they got a couple more layouts coming out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. See you guys.